Critical infrastructure disruption. It's a massive blackout. The capital is dark. It's our worst nightmare and it's happening right now. What's up guys, it's Adam AK Marf and this is Marfugal News. Now, many of you may know that Venezuela went dark. In fact, it went dark and then guess who they accused? Us, or I should say the US. Then two gentlemen got caught actually trying to hack into a dam or trying to take down a dam and they accused us as well. Well, now they have a third blackout and this one is huge. Now I'm going to bring you over to the R-S-O-E-E-D-I-S to show you exactly what I'm talking about. About 19 hours ago, it says critical infrastructure disruption, Venezuela, nationwide, multiple location. The capital is dark and this is a level five damage. This is bad. The reason it's bad is because of who will be accused. So mainstream is going to say one thing and they will say another, we are actually going to get our Venezuelan sources to actually give us the real info. So if you are curious about what happens with this or to where it might go, subscribe, share, and please be prepared. Now, we have a huge group of people that are forming, um, just in including our over 4,000 in Discord that are actually meeting up in all the states. So we do have state-by-state -state groups uh, prepping and preparing together. People ask, what are we preparing for? <laughs> There's an endless, a bigger list than 21 of things that you should, you know, consider, but not worry about. It's the whole point of uh, preparing or ensuring yourself is to make yourself uh, basically prepared for anything. In the event it happens, you will be uh, least affected. The thing is, is, you know, you can't control what happens, you know, even insurance has the act of God uh, category. There's just things you can't, you, you don't control. You know, you could be walking across the street and die. That's something you can't control. You know, you can't control somebody else driving 90 and blindsiding you. But what you can control uh, is logical. Uh, the thing is, is say, you know, you lose power for an entire month or what DHS is actually suggesting you prepare for six months to a year, say the entire country loses power. There's more than just food and water that you need. <laughs> There's probably self-protection and all sorts of other things on that list. So mind you, it is only logical if you get insurance on your electronics, insurance on your wedding ring, insurance on your house, insurance on your car, why don't you have insurance on your body? Have supplies, food, water, those kind of things. If, if you put it in that kind of way, people won't consider you so nuts. Because normally people think that preppers are nuts and out there and think it's the end of the world tomorrow. That's not the fact. Uh, that's, a, that's a possibility, but it's not a fact. Thank you.